Hello and welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day. My name is Mark and I just avoided breaking my tool by using our hugely important single block function. Now after making a change to a program, we could just hit the cycle start button and hope for the best. Or we could put the machine into single block mode and keep an eye on our position screen to avoid problems. Now when we say block, we're typically talking about a single line of code in our program. So when I press a single block button and the single block icon appears on my screen, this means that from now on, with each push of cycle start, the control will execute one line of code. Now our machine is set up with the same program that we just showed breaking our tool. We're gonna walk through that program again, this time in single block. Just in case, I'm gonna lower my feed and rapid overrides. I'll set my rapid to 5% and we'll press cycle start. At this point, it's really important that I take a look at my position screen and I change it until I can see my distance to go. Now in single block mode, my distance to go is gonna tell me exactly where the machine is gonna move next when I press the cycle start button. My tool is coming down above my part and it says distance to go minus 1.9 inches. If it said something like distance to go Z minus six inches and I look at my part and think, wait, if it goes down six inches, something terrible is gonna happen. Well, I need to stop right there. I may have touched off my tool incorrectly or used the wrong work offset. So, distance to go, Z minus 1.9. When I press the green button, my machine is gonna move minus 1.9 inches. In this case, I'm fine. My position screen now says X one inch, Y zero, Z zero. Yeah, I can move one inch to the right. I'm just fine. It's now going to drill my hole, Z minus 1.1. My screen now says distance to go X 2.0, Y zero, Z zero. X 2.0. My tool is sitting right next to our clamp. If it really is gonna move two inches to the right right now, something terrible is gonna happen. If I press that cycle start button, it's gonna move X two inches to the right and break that tool. I can tell right now I've got something wrong with my program. Now, we fixed this program in another video, our G98, G99 clearance plane video. So you can take a look at that if you'd like for more information. But right now, what we really wanna impart to you, what we wanna impress you with, is that a combination of single block, looking at our position distance to go screen, and lowering our overrides to slow things down, can help us avoid crashes like the one we saw in slow motion earlier. Well, that's about it. Before we let you go, we want to show you a couple settings that can help when using single block. Setting 75 is our 9000 programs single block setting. When this is set to on, you can single block through your 9000 subprograms. That's your probing macros and your G47 engraving cycles, things like that. Also, we have setting 104, jog handle to single block. When this is set to on, you can use the hand wheel instead of the cycle start button to kind of walk through that program. With each click, it'll execute another line of code. Well, be sure to click on the link at the end of this video to subscribe to this channel and for today's bonus content. Thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.